Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Unlimited Projects, uh, but today we're talking about 6.5 turbo diesel fuel pump upgrade. Uh, you can get rid of the pulse pump. This is part one. Uh, pulse pump on the frame, lift pump. I showed you a couple times about checking the pressure on the lift pump and how critical it is that that pump work and you get always get positive pressure to your injection pump on the 6.5 turbo diesel. Tons of problems I've seen with almost every truck I ever worked on was lift pump pressure to the fuel pump, or to the injection pump. So today we're gonna to talk about the Carter, upgraded Carter pump to mount on the frame rail. Part two, I'll show you how to mount it. But this is part one where I'm just talking about the pump. I pulled the pump out of the box. Looking at the instructions, um, you can get this pump. And it comes with these fittings. The rubber mounts and everything to mount it to the frame. I'll show you that in a later video. When you read the instructions, it says, connect your fuel lines. Dry seal fuel fittings. Do not use Teflon tape or pipe fittings or pump breakage. But they give you a fitting with the taper to fit inside there. This is not tapered pipe thread. This is straight thread. But it is the same as 3, uh, three eighths pipe. Thread that in there. Now you can run four adapters to get this half inch nipple. This is the only thing they give you and I dare you to find another one of these with 3 8 barb or 5 16 barb to go in the factory fuel line for the 6.5 turbo diesel. See that thing straight through? It's a nice fitting, but it's what you need to thread in here to seal up. But the nipple is just way too big. Uh, to adapt it to the 6.5 turbo diesel. So, what you do is you take your trusty cutoff wheel and you cut the nipple off flush with the hex head. Then you take your trusty 8th inch pipe tap, lube it up with WD 40. And you've created a hole here now in this fitting. You tap that hole, which is essentially this size. You tap that hole. You go to the store and you get yourself a 3 8 barb with the 8 inch pipe on the end. Look at it. There's no neck down. You say, oh, you're getting too small now. This stays the same size the whole way through for the 3 8 barb. 3 8 barb to 1 8 pipe. Now, once you've cut this off, you tap it, you thread this in, and you have this fitting right here. I just tightened this up into the pump, but this is it. Take a good look. Cut the nipple off. Ran your your tap down in there. Eighth inch pipe. I will put sealant on this. Yeah, I'll show you. This comes out. I did tighten this up into the pump to get that tapered end to seal. But this now goes in there. Now you have your adapter to three eighths bar. If you want to, you can put get the, the 5 16 barb to 8 inch pipe. You might, uh, some stores might not carry the 5 16 My recommendation is don't go down to the quarter inch. Keep it the, keep it the 3 8 to 8 inch barb. Um, I wouldn't go quarter inch. Uh, your fuel line on that truck is supposed to be 3 8 um, which helps feed the inlet side of the pump. 
create good pressure and out to the um, out to the injection pump. There's how to get that Carter pump adapted fuel line wise to your 6.5 turbo diesel. And for that matter, you can use it for just about any kind of fuel transfer, really. Um, part two of this video, I'll show you mounting this pump up inside the frame rail of the 6.5 turbo, and we'll do a fuel pump pressure test on it. And I actually have two trucks I'm going to convert to this style ASAP. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, I'll keep some more good videos coming your way.